Suppose you paid 3000 US dollar to watch MMA legend John John competing against UFC's greatest heavyweight of all time, Stipe Mutes is at UFC 295. But suddenly you find out that John John is injured, he's out of the UFC 295 and not gonna fight against Stipe Mutes. How much this gonna be feel bad if you are that guy? So John Jones was training last night, got injured, he was wrestling and he tore the tendon that connects your pec to the bone off the bone. Eight months. No, John. We are not going to watch him fighting at least for 8 months because of surgery and recovery period. Maximum it might took him 1 year, 2 year, we never know. I mean what is wrong with UFC main card? It is cancelled since UFC 294. UFC has recovered UFC 294 main event very smartly and they gave us very entertaining fight. But nobody can beat John John and the excitement which he give to us. What's up everybody? Here we are again. You know, John Jones was training last night, got injured, he was wrestling, and he tore ah. the tendon that connects your pec to the bone, off the bone. Eight months, gonna need surgery, he's out. So, the main event is Prohaska versus Pereira. The co -main okay, please God, save this main event, Yuri Prohaska versus Alex Pereira. Even if this co-main event or you can say main event get cancelled, lots of UFC fans gonna get heart attack. Main event now is Pavlovich versus Aspinall for the interim wow. heavyweight championship. Sergey Pavlovich. The okay, before he said something, I believe his hand, his hands are made of steel. Number two ranked heavyweight, 18 and one with 15 knockouts. He has an 83% finish rate. His last seven wins all ended in the very first round. He's tied with Hall of Famer Don Fry for the second longest knockout streak in UFC history. His last three wins have been over Derek Lewis, Ty Tuivasa, and Curtis Blades. He's aiming to become the fourth Russian champ in UFC history. Tom Aspinall, he's the number four ranked heavyweight. He's 13 and three with 10 knockouts and three subs. That's a hundred percent finish rate. Eight of his last nine wins have come in the first round. He has never wow. seen the third round in his UFC career. Out of seven fights, he's won five performance bonuses. This guy is a beast. Ooh. And he is looking to become the yeah. first British heavyweight champion in UFC history. A combined 25 knockouts, 26 first round finishes, number two versus number four in the heavyweight division for the inner oh yeah this is gonna be a banger man room heavyweight title ufc 295 is live november 11th from msg on espn plus pay-per-view wow last week isla makhachev knockout pound for pound number two alexander volkanovsky this week UFC has released new pound for pound list and Islam Makhachev has obtained number two rank in pound for pound ranking. Rating yeah. Okay. So it's clear that Islam Mahachev is not happy with the pound for pound ranking. He has asked a legit question, what should I do to obtain number one pound for pound? So it's really frustrating situation for Islam Mahachev. He has beat Alexander Volkanovsky when he was number one pound for pound, but he didn't get number one ranking. But in other hand, John John became instantly number one after beating Ciro Gan. Ciro Gan was not even a UFC champion. So you can say UFC pound for pound ranking is not mathematically or scientifically correct. Even though Alexander Volkanovsky lose the fight against Islam Mahachev, fight fans are appreciating Alexander Volkanovsky. First, he accept the fight, the fighter like Islam Mahachev. Second, he take a fight on 10 days notice. Third, this is not his weight category. 
so he received warm welcome in Australia with traditional haka dance, which he totally deserved. He is a little bit emotional. Uh, yes, that was a surprise. I had no idea. Um, I was walking out and I've seen a few. I'm like, what is this? Is that? Yeah, so it caught me by surprise. I choked up a little bit coming down and I. Hit it. Wow, you definitely need this type of support to grow. <laughs> Probably going to be watching through this. Thank you. I really appreciate it. it means a lot to me. Um, but don't worry, I'm all good. I'm going to be back. I guarantee you that. So Alexander Volkonovsky confirms that he will be returned in January of 2024, defending his featherweight titles against Ilya Tuporia.